after a wonderful adventure at the ferry pools, we began our journey back to Portree. We were both feeling a bit peckish, so when we saw Cafe Cool, we had to stop. Cafe Cool began its story in the heart of Hackney, East London in 2019 by award-winning chef Claire Coghill. Now based back on the Isle of Skye, the cafe has been reborn in this idyllic setting of Carbost. Drawing inspiration from the wild natural larder that Skye has to offer, Cafe Cool uses locally sourced sustainable produce combined with traditional ingredients to give its own refreshing take on brunch and lunch. Open from 10 to 4, Wednesday through Sunday, it's the perfect stop for a bite to eat. Thank you. This is great. Thank you. What? The salt and pepper yeah. is in the shell. So yeah, this is Karen's order. So fish tacos for lunch today and in Scotland. They look a little different than what uh, they do in the United States. They're very cool and very well done. Mushy peas underneath it looks like. And I ordered a chicken ciabatta with some cool slaw and some crisps, it's right, a, chips. A food that cool is Gaelic for a little nook or place. So this, so this is, a, is a cool word, yeah. But, Cafe cool you know, little nook or place. Mrs. Yeah. Carnes does like her pepper. This is how the pepper shaker... Isn't that cute? It's in a shell. With the Kewlin Ridge behind us and a beautiful river in front, we enjoyed sitting on the furry chairs enjoying a late afternoon meal at this wee Scottish eatery. The stunning location, lovely vibe, and great food and service made this a great stop. Blueberry cake, and it, lo it looks homemade. Yeah, I think blueberry cake with Mr. Whippy ice cream would be really good. Mr. Whippy? <laughs> That doesn't sound good for some reason. I don't know. Okay, I'll get it. You can watch no, me Mr. eat it. Mr. Whippy doesn't sound good. We should oh. call it something else. Just outside your car park, at your feet, there's a lovely little stone. Our final stop is at Old Schlegelen Bridge. We've stopped here once before on our way from the ferry to Portree, but I wanted another look. This bridge was built between 1810 and 1818. The bridge is amazing, but really, the enchanted waters that run below it are the star. Water allows a gateway between the fairy world and ours, and legend has it that anyone who can dip their face into the river water for seven seconds and allow it to dry naturally will be granted eternal beauty. I wanted to try this, but getting down to the water was more difficult than you might think. I got a Sorrento in Scotland. Wow. So I went to the bar to get her drink before dinner and I saw they had a bottle of lemon malfi gin on the bar. And so I asked them if they could make a drink. I gave him the recipe and the guy said absolutely. I showed him the recipe that we got from Chow for Sorrento. There it is. It's good too. Halfway around the world. And it's really good. Yeah, we feel it. We kind of do it for a I have the scallops and I have the same beautiful view to my left at dinner tonight and to my right. The left is Portree and the lock and the right is Mrs. Carnes. In many ways coming to Scotland I have felt like a stranger in a strange land. So when I saw this wine on the wine list it made me feel like home. Um, so we're drinking a 2020 Cake Bread Cellar Chardonnay. And uh, those of you know, we've been to Cake Bread and we love their wine. And this wine rode a boat for a long time for me to sit here and drink it tonight. So I only am going to enjoy it. Cheers. Slangeva. It's, it's too. 
This is a perfect man. Da 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 da. The muscles. Probably from right outside the window here. Caught right out there, I'm sure. Yeah, probably. Probably this so. Is a, this is a different choice for me. But uh, one I'm very intrigued by and looking forward to. Pairs perfectly with your wine. With the Chardonnay. Yeah. So this is the third time this week that I've had this utensil show up on my table. That's how you can tell you've had a pretty good week. Yum, yum, yum. This looks fantastic. So, Mrs. Carnes' dessert looks like it's a portrait. Mine is very utilitarian. Mine would be a fire engine or an ambulance. Hers would be a red Mercedes. But you love cheese, so you're the I can smell this cheese from here. I know I'm gonna like it. <laughs> Ooh la la. And the view just keeps looking great. I'm just taking a video before I finish dinner. My beautiful wife is twirling the last vestiges of her wine. The cheese was terrible, as you can see. I couldn't hardly eat it. But we, we did make a new discovery tonight, did we not? Buckthorn. Buckthorn. If you come to our house, you may get some buckthorn. Sadly, we are leaving the Isle of Skye. Um, I don't know what's going to happen the next couple of days. Hello, Mr. Siegel. The next couple of days as we head toward Inverness, but uh, I think it's gonna be hard for me thinking that this isn't the best part of the whole trip. It's beautiful here. And the things that we did yesterday were um, very memorable and probably once in a lifetime kind of things. And so it was a great trip to the Isle of Skye. The Keelan Hills Hotel, is a really beautiful place. Um, you're going to see, if you haven't already seen it, you'll see some video of us having wonderful meals outside the restaurant called The View, and it's very aptly named. So um, we're going to get in our car today and drive about um, two and a half hours, which in the States would be a couple hundred miles. Um, I think it's 90 miles or 88 <laughs> miles. We're going to take us two and a half hours to drive over to Cameron's Tea Room, which will be our next stop, and then on to Inverness, where we're gonna stay for a couple of days. So, hope you tag along. Thanks for watching, Mrs. Carnes and me.
driving by and all of a sudden this beautiful castle popped up on the horizon from out of nowhere. So we made an unscheduled stop here. I think this is called the Eidolon Donan Castle. It's uh, Instagram worthy. Mm. It's beautiful. And uh, there's about nine buses here and I don't know, several thousand people it seems like. But it's still quiet and still beautiful and still a really cool place. And Scotland is full of places like this. Just They just pop up out of nowhere. The name Elan Donan, or Island of Donan, comes from St. Bishop Donan, who came to Scotland in 580 AD. This castle is recognized as one of the most iconic images of Scotland. Situated on an island at the point where three great sea locks meet and surrounded by some majestic scenery, it is little wonder this Highland castle is one of the most visited in Scotland. Open seven days a week from 10 to 3, the Cameron Tea Room serves homemade cakes, soups, and light snacks, and of course, tea. The setting is stunning, and the amazing wood-burning stove keeps the shop cozy. While researching for our trip, I ran across this tea room, and after a few emails with the owner, Morag Cameron, I knew we had to visit our cousins from Scotland. We were greeted by Morag when we arrived, and I enjoyed chatting with a long-lost relative. So, after taking me on yet another excursion out to the middle of nowhere, we were at Cameron's Tea Shop having a bite of lunch and a little cake, I think, here at the end of the meal. Um, very, very, very good. Looks very good. Made and authentic. And I'm going to enjoy eating it. Mrs. Carnes is going to enjoy her salad, I think. It's the closest thing to a little salad I think she's seen. Yeah. So, um, we're going to do a little more exploring right around here. And uh, look at some Highland Coos in just a minute. What is that one? Cherry and almond cake. Cherry almond cake. And this is a strawberry scone, scone, scone with clotted cream. With clotted cream. Or strawberry and clotted cream on a scone. A scone with strawberries and clotted cream. I don't know. It's something. Looks good. Gonna eat it. <laughs> Just a couple of Cameron girls having a conversation in the Scottish countryside. This World War I memorial is located in the Scottish Highlands on what was once a military road. I was so pleased to find that the Camerons had done their part and are recognized on this memorial. I don't know if he likes me. Field dog. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Thanks for watching, and please join us again next week as we explore Inverness. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. It really means the world to us. We are living the good life. Slanjava.